So, what do you do? I'm a graphic designer. Oh, that's really cool. Do you have a business card on you? <sighs> Actually, I've got something better. I have a virtual business card. Here. That's really cool. How did you make that business card? Thank you. Well, funny you should ask. That's what this video is about. Take it away, Brittany. Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to create a virtual business card. Super, super easy. Disclaimer, there is a child upstairs bouncing a ball because everybody's home because we're on quarantine. So what are you gonna do? If you hear that thudding every five seconds, that's why. So because you're probably at home right now, you probably have a little bit of spare time to work on some of your side business ideas. And one of the ways that you can do that is by making a virtual business card. So before I show you how to make it super, super easy, I'm gonna give you five really good reasons why you should have a virtual business card. Reason number one, which is super relevant right now, virtual business cards are germ free because no physical exchange has to take place. All you do is you hold up your virtual business card and someone else scans the virtual business card. No germs, no sickness. Reason number two, also very relevant right now, virtual business cards are eco-friendly because you don't have to print any paper out and the physical business cards are most likely gonna end up in the trash at the end of the day anyways. Reason number three, and this is the main reason that I started using virtual business cards. If you're like me, then maybe you don't just have one side hustle, you actually have a few side hustles. So having printed business cards like these means that every time you have a new side hustle going on, you have to have a different business card. So with virtual business cards, you have unlimited variations to whatever you can create. They're all virtual. You can make as many as you want and it doesn't really matter. You can put a different job description, a different email address, different website. You can even put a different name if your business requires you to have multiple aliases. Reason number four that virtual business cards are the bomb is because they don't cost anything and free is my favorite number. Reason number five that you should have a virtual business card is because they're cool and they help you stand out. All the cool kids are doing it, just how it is. All right, now let me show you how to easily make your very own virtual business card. So the program that we're going to be using to make these virtual business cards is called Canva. Canva.com is completely free to use, but if you do decide to upgrade to Canva Pro, then you have access to a lot more stock images and that's how they make money. But they have plenty of images that you can use all for free. To get to Canva, you can click the link in the description of this video and then click here to edit your business card. So here you can see a bunch of different options for business card templates. You can choose one from the side that you like or you can also design one completely from scratch. It's up to you. Let's choose this one. So this one is a very minimalistic business card. I'm just going to type my name and I'll also add whatever details I wanna add. You can edit text over here. And it's really easy, drag and drop. And let's give ourselves a little title. I'm gonna call myself a YouTuber. And there's my information. So, as of now, this could be printed as a normal business card. If you wanted to print this out, actually, I'm gonna justify this on the left. So if you're going to put a website on your business card, here's another trick. Don't forget to make sure that this website URL is a clickable link. So to make sure that it's clickable, you click over here to more, click this icon to make it a link, and then enter the link again. That way, when they get their virtual business card on their phone, they can just go ahead and click on your website URL to access your website and not have to enter the domain 
by hand. Uh, I don't like my links to be underlined, so I'm just going to get rid of that underline, but they will find out if it's clickable or not when they try to click on it. So here you have a pretty typical business card. If I liked it just as is, as a normal business card, I could click here and I could actually order printed business cards right on Canva really easily. Um, but what we're going to do instead is we are going to save this business card and we're going to save it as a website. So if you go in the corner and click here, how would you like to publish? We're going to save it as a website. And save it as a presentation and then you're going to open that website. And in a new tab, this website that you just created is going to pop up. And this is a published permanent website that you have access to. So first you're going to copy the website URL for this page. Okay, so now you're going to go back to your business card and you're going to scroll to the bottom of this left side panel and click more and click QR code. So then you're going to enter that website URL that you just made in this QR code generator and that's going to give you a QR code. And this code will bring you to that website that you just made. So once you put this code on your digital business card, Somebody, if they had a printed version of this card or if they just saw a photo of it, they could take out their camera and take a photo of this square and it would lead them to this page that you just made. And that gives them the card saved. So now that you have this and you have that, all you have to do is click download and you can download it as a PNG image to save to your phone and Click download and now you have a business card here and if you do want to print this out and then you can just flash it to people so that they can scan this code and you don't have to give them the card but they can just you can keep your card and they can take a picture of this code to find the business card virtually here then you can still print out your business card and there's free shipping if you want to do that and the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to email a picture of this business card that I just made to myself. That way I can save the photo on my phone and I have that business card in my camera roll whenever I need to. I also will create a special folder in my phone that contains my different business cards if I have several of them. So then whenever you want to share your business card with someone, all you do is show them the photo of your business card, prompt them to take out their camera and scan the code, and then this will pop up on their screen. See, it's easy. So here is one more trick because I didn't mention that a lot of times business cards are two-sided and there's a lot of information that you could want to write on your business card that doesn't fit nicely on one page. So if you want to add a back to your business card, you can just click add new page here and you can have an entirely new page. You can go ahead and use the same template or you can choose any other template. So I'm going to find another template that looks nice with this template. I like this one. It's a nice dark color for the back. But I'm definitely going to get rid of that. And now we have this nice navy pattern on the back of our pretty card. So I'm going to put my name again on the back. And then maybe I want to add a little bit of text about my business, about what I do. So I'm going to write a little note about who I am and what I do. Maybe you want to add a picture or maybe you want to add a headshot of yourself. And if you want to add a picture, all you have to do is go over here and click uploads. And then you can upload an image or you can use one that you already have. I already have a picture of myself there. Or you can just upload any image here that you want and place it on your business card. So I just wanted to mention this in case you did still want to print your business card and it was going to have two sides and you still wanted to use the digital function where people could scan it instead of taking the card from you. And that way you could still have a two-sided virtual business card. So now I'll show you what that looks in the website form. And so when someone gets your virtual business card, they're going to be able to see that there are two sides to this card. All they have to do is click the arrow here and go to the next one. And then again, you can download the picture. 
And then you see this beautiful two-sided mock-up graphic here. So this is what your business card would look like on both sides if you wanted to print it out double-sided. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial on how to make your own virtual business card. This is just one of my many digital product hacks that I have, and I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos like this. So if you liked this tutorial, be sure to subscribe to my channel and click to get notifications for when I post a new video, and like this video, and what else? And let me know in the comments if you made a virtual business card and how it turned out. You can also write what you do and maybe other people will read the comments and wanna connect with you, who knows? And definitely keep using this time to be productive and do things that are gonna put you forward as soon as we can get back to normal life. Stay safe and stay healthy out there, bye.